we've got our cot and you're gonna see what's going on. The first thing you wanna do is take your bucket with warm water and we're gonna use, this is called Novasan solution. It's just a disinfectant. You don't have to use this one if you want to maybe from your veterinarian, but um, if you don't have that, just use some dish soap. Put it in the warm water in a nice clean bucket and you're gonna put your gloves on because you wanna make sure that you do everything you can to keep her clean. So I have some nice clean gloves. They do make smaller sizes, so the pink ones, just for your information, are size small most of the time. Those work the best for me. And then a trick that I do is I do take these latex gloves and I put them over my hands. And this is just because these are, these are flimsy and it's hard to kind of feel, so I use these to help keep my fingers covered. Okay, now you're going to take your bucket and you're going to clean this whole back end. This is called a perineal region. Normal cow, there's going to be manure. We want to clean this up. I just use my hand and I'm going to go ahead and rub and make sure that I get as much manure off the area as possible. A lot of times there's going to be manure or dirt on these feet if she's been sitting outside. You want to clean those up the best you can. Once you get that clean, I usually take the bucket and I take my chains and I put it into the bucket. That way they're ready to go when I need them. Rinse my hands off if I need to, and then I use the lube. Put some lube up on the cow, up on the calf, and then definitely put some on your arms. You can rub it up and down both arms. Make sure that you're completely lubricated. This is what's gonna help you the most. Get in there and make sure that you're doing the right thing. Okay, so once you're ready, you're gonna reach in. What you're wanting to feel for are two feet in a head. You can kind of see there's the two feet that are coming out this way. This is the normal presentation of a calf. Two feet, and this head is right here. A lot of times you're not gonna see it much more than maybe the nose. Maybe you won't even see that nose, especially if it's a heifer, and there's not a lot of room. But you establish that this is here, and the head is all the way through that birth canal. So I know that it's gonna make it out this way because there's no blocking that head here. Two feet head, which means we can go ahead and try and pull. So we're gonna grab our chains. This is a fairly long chain, which is nice if those feet are back in there farther. It has a loop in the end. We're gonna move that chain down through that circle loop. This is just a simple loop here. We're gonna use that and put it over one of the foot this foot here. You're putting it above the dew claws, okay? So you've got that first loop there. The second part is what's important. This is called a half hitch movement. I take my hand and I twist it over. So it's kind of got this bottom part. I'll try and show you again. So you twist it over and you're gonna be able to pull on this side and it makes, makes a little twist, okay? You're gonna set that over that foot And you can see that it's gotten right here and right here. This is important. This is distributing pressure. There is a growth plate here that you do not want to break. Growth plates are just a joint that's really soft and it expands as the calf grows. If that breaks, it's really hard for that to heal. So this way you're going to distribute the pressure when you pull. You're going to take the other side of this chain, do the same thing. We're going to make a loop, simple loop. We're going to go over the foot, put a little bit of tension on it, do your half hitch. This is important on that other foot. You can kind of see that it, it moved and that will happen because you've used a lot of lubrication and the calf is slippery and sometimes you have to fix it. So one trick is making sure that you keep tension on it. This, this helps if you have another person to hold it for you. But you're going to get that back up on there. Make sure they're in both places before you go to pull. All right, so once you're confident that those feet are where you want them, you're gonna take those handles. These handles are gonna hook on the chain and you're gonna be able to pull, you and a friend, usually. You pull when she pushes. So the cow's gonna give me a contraction, she's gonna push, I'm gonna pull. 
and then she rests and I rest. The calf is starting to come out. May not take a breath yet, depends on where that umbilical cord is, but it's just about ready to. She does another contraction, I pull, and it comes right out. That was an easy pull. A lot of times it doesn't come out that easy, but maybe she, maybe she just had a foot stuck and you needed to help her get that up. So as soon as that calf is out, you are gonna get it to sit up sternal. Sternal means we are gonna have it sitting on its chest, and you do that by moving both of the legs towards the shoulders. So these two legs are pointing up to the shoulders. Both lungs on each side of the chest are able to inflate. I work on the nose a little bit, maybe stick some straw, stick my finger up in the nose, get it to shake its head, spit some of that stuff out, and let it take a breath. And that's how you pull a calf.